What is going on everyone? In today's video, we are going over five surefire websites that could really generate you some great income online. Now I'm pretty excited because a couple of these I've never shared before on the channel and you guys are going to absolutely love it. And the fun part about all of these websites is that you don't have to be just located in the US. These are world wide and so that is really exciting for a lot of you because the number one question i get when i talk about work from home jobs websites online side hustles is is it possible in my country if you're not in the us or maybe not in canada and the answer to that today is yes and all of these websites have the earning potential of five thousand dollars per month so why don't we go ahead and hop right to it okay so this first website that i'm talking about is the platform you're watching right now and that is youtube YouTube for creators. Okay, so hear me out here. There's so many ways to monetize a channel, whether you're building up a personal branded channel like this one, or simply you are just creating a faceless YouTube channel with different animation style content, B-roll, stock footage, it doesn't really matter. But there's so many ways as a creator of owning a YouTube channel, creating a YouTube channel to make a lot of money online. And the first way for creators that a lot of people know about is with Google AdSense. So what exactly is Google AdSense? It is the money that once a YouTube channel gets monetized, so you cross a thousand subscribers and you have 4,000 watch hours in a span of 12 months. Those are the minimum requirements for getting approved for the YouTube partnership program. But the exciting part is that once you do, you get a check from YouTube or Google, no, you get a check from Google, Google, YouTube, pretty much the same company, okay? But you get a check from Google every single month, specifically on the 21st of every single month, where you get your basically passive income check that you've generated from advertisers putting their ads on your videos just so that they could advertise their products. Now, how cool is that? It gets really fun and exciting. Some niches are more profitable than others, of course. So if you have a channel on crocheting, or maybe you have a YouTube channel centered around children's content, you might not make that much from Google AdSense because those aren't super popular. And because with the children's channel, the challenge there is dealing with Copa. So basically Copa and YouTube had this big fight in 2019 where they were like, hey, you need all your creators to show and indicate when it is content made for kids. And if it is, they're going to make less. It was kind of really crappy, but not to worry. There's so many other profitable niches on YouTube that you can definitely monetize with and make that residual income with Google AdSense. But not to mention on top of Google AdSense, you have this thing called digital products. You can sell virtually any type of product you want. And I recently went over in a Lazy Way 1K Day video how you can realistically build something called a value ladder where you have different price points for different types of products in your value ladder. It could be services, it could be digital products. That was an amazing video. I'll leave the link in the description so you could check it out later. And so the point is you can make so much money organically from the traffic that you're generating from your YouTube channel directly to your digital products, whether it is a, a book, maybe you have a book on Amazon, maybe it's a low ticket offer. You have a one-time little pocket product program that you're advertising to. Maybe it is a higher ticket course where you're giving tons and tons of value inside of a digital course that has lots of video modules and you have maybe a community or something like that. And of course, maybe you're offering one-on-one -on -one services and that you know takes it to the higher, higher level um, of price points that is. And so, and so the point I'd like to make is just, I've been able to generate multiple six figures with the organic traffic from the YouTube channel because so many people looking to make money online can't see upfront the power of the traffic on YouTube. It is the most powerful. It's more powerful than TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, you name it, it's more powerful, okay? <laughs> it is the almighty most powerful traffic. Boom, boom, boom. But anyways, let's just, <laughs> it is hands down my favorite subject to talk about. So on that note, if you wanna learn more about it and building a profitable YouTube channel, please download my subscribers to sales blueprint right up here. First link in the description, which goes over the six steps that I took um, to build a channel that I have with over 160,000 followers, um, almost 6 million views on the channel and with the revenue that I've been able to generate. So go ahead and download that blueprint. All right, so the next way you can make money as a creator on YouTube, I know you've heard about this before. Maybe um, you've seen a lot of people make videos about how to make money on YouTube without showing your face. Yes, I've made <laughs> a lot of those myself, and that is with making a faceless 
channel or a YouTube channel with faceless content. The advantage is you can scale this channel to the moon because you don't have to get in front of the camera, do your makeup like with the purple eyeshadows and take an hour to get ready like it took me this morning. Um, you can really scale this content because you don't have to make it. Okay, you can have somebody help you, maybe a video editor, compile or make animation videos, stock footage. You could even create videos where maybe it's just your hands, maybe you're sewing something, maybe you're baking, cooking, something where you really don't have to show your face. So you can really scale that content and produce it at a much faster rate. And so those are the big benefits with a faceless channel. Um, unlike this one where I film twice a week, I'm burnt out, that is my max. Okay, so I'll never be able to scale my content and post twice a day or something like that, like you could with a faceless channel once you get the hang of it. Now the downfall of it is you can't sell your products on the back end as easily. You're gonna be relying heavily on Google AdSense and I don't recommend that to anyone because you never know what's gonna happen with the algorithm one day. It, you know, one day could be giving you 10 grand a month on AdSense and then the next week, you know, maybe a thousand, it's just crazy. But um, it's a great way to make residual income, but just don't depend on it. So that is one of the disadvantages of the faceless channel. But the cool thing, whether you're doing a faceless channel or a personal branded channel like the one you're watching right now, where it's me, Marissa Romero, getting in front of the camera, is that you can sell merch on your YouTube channel. Yes, so you can sell merch using a third party, uh, you know, online store platform like a Shopify, like Etsy, or something like that. Or once you hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, get this, YouTube allows you to connect a Teespring store. Teespring is 100% free to get started. You don't need a credit card to start making sales. You just start uploading designs and then people could buy it from you. It'll show up right below your videos. It's really, really cool. So that's another way to get passive income from the print on demand sales generated from your channel. So really it's like you're making content and if people are interested in buying a logo, a design from you, then that is really good news. So that way, uh, niches that aren't as profitable, like I mentioned in the past, maybe you have a kid's channel, you can monetize it in other ways, like with print on demand. And so with the print on demand store, it's really cool because you can make and have different things like this. So this is our subscribers to sales program, premium program. And um, I went ahead and got it made on a cup. So that's pretty cool. It's like I can have my own logo and my cup and I could sell this to people because a lot of people are interested in, um, in the merch that we have. So it's like, okay, ignore the lipstick stain, but subscribers, sales, repeat. Like how cool is that? You can like represent your brand and sell it and have other people represent the brand for you um, just because they think that the logo is super cool. So print on demand, um, I love making money this, or I, I did it full time in the past, but definitely plan to get this up. I mean, if you would, I mean, if you think this is a dope cup, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Cause uh, I'm feeling it. I'm like, oh my God, best way to drink my coffee, subscribers to sales, repeat, let's go. <laughs> also, you have the ability to make money with YouTube by memberships. Did you know that people can pay you as a creator? Maybe, you know, you charge $5 a month, $10 a month just to be a part of your crew, just so that they can get extra priority when you go live and you get different perks of being in that membership. You can have a membership right on YouTube. So you can go and create a membership and maybe you charge $25 a month. So people get priority access. Um, they get to talk to you during the live. They get extra content or something like that. So there's really so many ways to monetize a YouTube channel. It's insane. And as I mentioned, if you want to learn more, there's so many resources for YouTube in the description. I have the blueprint, the nail your niche workshop. And if you're really interested to take it to the next level, go ahead and watch our masterclass, which is about the four step framework for building a wildly profitable channel. So all those links will be in the description below. Okay. So this next website is super cool. And I want to know why this was not around when I was in college and when I was broke and you know, only had a couple pennies to buy maybe some bean rice and cheese burritos from Taco Bell. Ooh, Taco Bell, that sounds so good right now. But hey, the point is the next website we are talking about is studypool.com. And I don't know who invented this website, but is a pretty phenomenal concept where you get paid to answer 
homework question. So it's unlike any other tutoring platform where it's kind of one-on-one, -on -one, you stick to one subject and you help a certain person over and over and over. It's more so where you go on the platform, sign up to be a tutor, you're really good at you know X, Y, and Z subjects. We'll take a look at the website here in a second, but you go on the website and if you see something you can answer, you answer it and you make money. It's that simple. Okay, so the cool part about Study Pool is you don't need to be based in the US, Canada. No, you can be anywhere in the world answering questions about your expertise. Maybe you have expertise from a job that you had, from an experience you went through. Obviously, if you're in college or studying at school at the university, you have some experience right now in the classes you're taking, and I guarantee there's probably a question or a topic for that on study pool. So let's go ahead, check out the website and see what the possibilities are for study pool. All right, so welcome to behind my computer. Let's go. Okay, so study pool. It's a different concept. It's micro tutoring as it says right there, which means it's kind of like one-off tutoring. You don't need to be dedicated to a student or have like um, what's the, the word, like a one-on-one -on -one type thing with somebody for a long period of time. No, it's just kind of one-off projects and boom. So let's take a look at some of the subjects. So if we click on business, there's so many things. I mean, accounting, business, business law. Uh, a couple of my friends are lawyers. This would be great. Data, data analytics, entrepreneurship, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, tourism. So this is so cool. And I could think of at least six of these that I have um, experience with myself. I mean, tourism is really cool. I'm not a tour guide or anything like that, but I've been a digital nomad, traveled around the world. I'm sure there's advice that I can give to people about traveling and tourism. Marketing, yep. Internet marketing, yes. Facebook marketing, yes. So it's really cool. Maybe your wheelhouse is more in humanity. So, African studies, anthropology, global studies, history, all this cool stuff, dance. Really, the sky's the limit. There's so many different things in here. So maybe um, with religion, you know some things about the Bible, or you're really good with studying religious stuff. Women's studies, Latin American studies, linguistics, literature, music, music theory. So, so many people have different talents and skill sets and life experiences that they've been um, exposed to and that they've achieved which qualifies us to you know be this consultant in the version of a online tutor on study pool and you know the list just keeps going on and on mathematics okay so we got linear algebra number theory trigonometry do we have calculus yep my little sister is 18 years old and she's in calculus you know, A, B, and whatever, and I'm begging her, I'm like, look, you can make money easy on this website. She's so good at calculus, programming, you know, all these different things. This, maybe this is your wheelhouse, science. So there's definitely not a lack of subjects here. You know, astrophysics, biochemistry, genetics, botany, geology, science, zoology. So pick one of these, think about it, and just, and create a profile and um, see what you can make. So if we go to uh, become a tutor, I think it is, you can have more of your questions answered about how exactly you'll be able to make up to $7,500. Man, guys, if I would have had this, I'm telling you, if I would have had this in college, gosh, who knows what, what I would have done with, with my life. <laughs> I would have paid back my student loans faster, that's for sure. So why tutor on study pool, you can go ahead or you can go ahead and check out this video right here. There's so many reasons to make study, study Pool your go-to source for online tutoring work. They have the lowest service fees, which is cool. So starting at 20%, Study Pool charges the lowest service fees in the market because those service fees for sure can add up. You know, if they're charging, uh, uh, you know, 30% per transaction, you know, that's 30% of the money that they're taking away from, from the time that you're putting in, okay? So if we check out these recent questions, you can see um, how much, or not how much, but you can see, I'm sorry, this caught my eye, the highest earners, okay? Let's check this out. $500,000 for Henry Professor, whoever that is, has made on Seti Pool. Now, that's insane. Um, I have not made that much yet in my entrepreneurial journey. I don't know about you guys, but 
damn, even if you made like a third of that in, you know, two years, that is really, really great. And just look at these. Um, this person has made 171,000. So, you know, there really is opportunity here, uh, clearly, as you can see. But, but just look at a recent questions posted. I mean, you can make 20 bucks for answering something about Columbia Southern Business Ethics Leadership Culture Reflection Paper. Hey, maybe you know about that. All you got to do is just answer it. If you see it and answer it, anthropology, name that fossil. $25. Boom. What's this? For $60, advanced microcomputer applications. $60 if you can answer the question. So again, just this is a worldwide opportunity you can do from the comfort of your home. Maybe if you have uh, a job during the day, if you're studying during the day, after you put the kids down to sleep, you can totally, totally, totally come to this website and do it, make it happen. So definitely check out StudyPool. If online tutoring is um, interesting to you and if you think that you can answer these questions. So check that out. Okay, so the third thing that we are talking about today on this video is again, YouTube, but this time you lab, what, what, you lab? But this time, YouTube for freelancers. And don't underestimate freelancing because I know several people with freelancing businesses who are generating you know, well above 10K per month, $20,000 per month and beyond. So here are basically a list of all the things, profitable side hustles, basically mixed with YouTube that you can do if you're interested in working in the YouTube world, but you don't wanna be a creator. I got the solution for you. And the first thing that we're talking about is repurposing content. So YouTube creators need this, need this, okay? We, we need this. We spend all our attention and hard work and you know doing our makeup and all this on making video content, but it's just one video and that's it on the YouTube platform. So if you're able to help a creator repurpose that content into a uh, social quote, audiograms, maybe a, an IGTV clip and series with a tracker bar that has subtitles and stuff like that. And you're able to take maybe some of the script from the video and make it into a blog post on the website so that it's also capitalizing on SEO traffic. People will pay a pretty penny for that. And the way to get started is go on Instagram and contact YouTubers through Instagram, send them a voice note and say, Hey, here's what I'm capable of. Let me repurpose this YouTube video that you made for free. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a Facebook post for your Facebook fan page. I'm gonna create an Instagram post. I'm gonna create X, Y, and Z and do it for free, okay? And then after that project, whether they like your work or not, then you can continue on the video packages and pricing and then go up from there and start to get your first client, your second and third, and continually do good work and increase the pricing accordingly. And the same thing as well can go with video editing and doing video editing for YouTubers. Of course, with this freelancing job, you would have to have prior video editing knowledge uh, because there are some people that say they can video edit like on Upwork, Fiverr, freelancer.com that definitely cannot. Like I remember one time I contracted this guy. I can't remember what country he was from, but I got the video back and I was like, oh my God, he destroyed my video. He put like some baby, uh, lullaby music in the background. I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm talking about uh, email marketing. <laughs> like, what is going on here? So definitely, you know, know what you're doing in order to do video editing. The other thing you can do is a YouTube manager. You can be a YouTube channel growth manager, which basically means you learn organic SEO and optimization. So you learn how to do titles, you learn how to do SEO research, you learn how to make really good descriptions, you learn how to do end cards, cards and you learn how to optimize a video so you can take that job off of a YouTube creator's hands essentially. And so YouTube creators will happily pay you for your time to do this because it's a lot of work. Um, every video that I post, it probably takes six hours between pre-optimization and post-optimization from doing all the things I just mentioned. On top of that, once the video goes public, you have to post on social media, social teasers, you have to email blast your, your email list if you have one. So there's a lot of things involved and the opportunity for you to take on a bunch of tasks and be the YouTube growth manager. And so the last thing you can really capitalize on with being a freelancer in the YouTube world is to become a YouTube ad specialist, something that no one knows how to do right now. I'm kidding, I mean, some people know how to do it. I'm not, I'm one of those who do not because I'm currently looking for somebody to help me 
with YouTube ads to help, you know, scale the business this year in the future. But if you can figure out YouTube ads, like specifically how to run ads for in stream ads, which are the, the, the ads that show up before the video and you can skip them. That is a profitable, profitable income producing activity that if you learn you are dynamite and you have some really, really good traction and you have a skill that is very highly monetizable and I highly suggest it. So the next thing that we're talking about here on today's video is creating low content books. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is that? Let me break it down. And I have to give a shout out to my girl, Kat Theo for giving me this idea to share with you guys. I've never heard of this method before. So shout out to her. She's an amazing YouTube creator. And so thank you so much. So basically what low content books are, it just means that they're not novel style books. They're not a book where you open it up and you see a thousand words. Okay. They're books that have very little words, maybe blank pages, maybe pictures, and that's it. Okay. These can be things like journals, notebooks, meal diaries, agendas, puzzles, calendars, guest books, trackers. You get the idea. That's what it means by low content is there's very little, you know, thinking on your end, like brain power involved and you don't have to write anything and you can sell these books like crazy and make thousands of dollars a month passively for doing very, very little upfront work. That's the key here is very little upfront work. And so you might be asking, how do I sell these books? That's where Kindle publishing with Amazon comes into play. Cause you will essentially be posting these books on Amazon. And these books are great gifts for people. They're great tools for people. They're great things that people need for planning and productivity throughout the week. And that's why they convert so highly and sell and they sell on their own because there's billions of people searching all the time on Amazon. So the traffic is there check. You don't need traffic. Okay. So then you can publish these books on Amazon and Amazon will do the selling for you. Of course, Amazon takes its cut, but if you, you know, upload maybe 10 books, I mean, that's 10 different opportunities to make passive income. So let's go ahead and check out the website bookbolt.io. I believe it is bookbolt makes this process extremely, extremely easy. It's insane how easy it is. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that website right now. Okay. So meet bookbolt. Hi, Bookbolt. How are you? Nice to meet you. So bookbolt.io is the website and you can see right here that it says create and scale a book publishing business without writing a single word with our innovative software solutions. That is super cool. This is something I want to do. If I'm interested in doing it, you know, it's profitable and has to be passive. Okay. So it says the most powerful keyword tool on the market. So what this means is book Bolt has the ability to help you with keyword research. So again, Amazon is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest search engines in the world with billions of people, which means it has SEO. So this tool helps you find the volume, the data, and what the most powerful keywords are for different books. Maybe you're trying to make a cooking recipe book or something like that. It'll help you with keywords for that. So you can start for free and you scroll down, come, to, come to this website and just see all the different features it has. So the most comprehensive, low content book publishing software on the market today. So from idea to creation, scroll down and see how book bolt can assist in all avenues of your low content book pub publishing business. Okay. So you can learn more to get an idea of what the low content books mean. As I mentioned before, there are different, um, you know, types of things that don't have very many words in them. So you can see, like you can do more research on this page here that they have and get an, a better idea of what kind of low content book you can make. Okay. So if we go back to the main page, then we can see all that they have to offer. So this is really, really cool product database and trend hunter, the most powerful keyword research tool on the market listing optimization book design simplified. So this is where this website is very, very powerful. And it takes the time out of the production of, of the book out of it. And it makes it so seamless, right? And so you, all you really have to be in charge of is creating the cover of the book and some of the interior design, but not really, it's uh, really kind of like a Canva where it's drag and drop and you can create just the cover. And really if it's a notebook, right? 
you only have to create the cover, the cover and the back cover of the book because all the pages in between are going to be exactly the same. So this is really, really phenomenal and a great, great feature of this website. Puzzle Wiz, an interior wizard, um, will help you make, but maybe you wanna make a puzzle book, activity books, coloring books, and um, so on, so on, so on. So vibe that I'm getting from this website is it's very, very time saving and duplicatable or duplicable, duplicable, whatever the word is. So you can do this over and over. Maybe you wanna make, as I mentioned before, 10 books to get your feet wet. Maybe you wanna make five, maybe you wanna make 20. Okay, so I just clicked on resources and then what did I click on? This interior wizard. So free Kindle publishing, no book content, interior. So when they say interiors, they mean things like a journal, like a college ruled paper, you know, wide ruled agendas, sheet music, and there's so, so much more. And if you look at interior wizard and you can look at all the different styles, the dimensions, um, let's see if we wanted to pick this style. Okay. There's different ones. And so, yeah, I mean, there's so many different options. And if we scroll down, you can really, really get your ideas going with different things. I mean, you have to be a member to maybe track your bills. So maybe, maybe you're somebody who is a really good Instagram content, social media manager person. You're really good with Instagram and you want to make an Instagram content creation calendar. Like how cool would that be? Okay. And you can just um, come to one of these, I'm sure pick a template, like a calendar one and just find one that would work to create your Instagram content planning calendar, social media people, content creators like me would love that. Okay. And you can do the same thing with other social media. So whatever it is, maybe you're, it's cooking, look at polar coordinate. I haven't seen this, this since high school, polar coordinate paper, um, mileage logs, handwriting paper, the list goes on and on and on. Okay. So not shown in this video because I do not have a profile is the book bolt designer where you are able to use the book bolt a website when you create a plan and and stuff like that you can use it to create a cover the cover of your book it works kind of like canva there's shapes text different um, colors that you can modify to create the cover and if you want to take it a step up you can come here to canva.com um, just to have a little bit more freedom with graphic design um, they already have like book cover templates here so you can click on any of these and modify them. They're already in the dimension, ready to go for the book cover. And I know these are more like normal books, like novel style, but this could totally work for a low content uh, book that you're trying to create. So you can create this on Canva super easily and then bring that book cover into the book vault designer and continue with your design of the interior design of the actual pages of the agenda you're trying to make. So Canva is an awesome resource for for the covers of the books that you're trying to publish as well. All right, so the next thing we're talking about here is teaching English online, something that you've probably heard about before. And if you are watching this video in English and you understand me and English is your native language, then you can qualify for this. Now hear me out. There's a lot of websites out there where you can teach English online. But this one particularly, Palfish, is the one that after, you know, years and years, okay, two years of research, not years and years, but the past two to three years of me researching English teaching online, Palfish definitely sticks out because I personally have a friend who is a teacher for Palfish and she's told me so much about working for them and her experience and it is good. Now this girl is a full-time master's student and she has her own side business and brand where she teaches native English and she teaches on Palfish and it is really cool because she's able to support herself just with her Palfish income alone. And if she wanted to, she could make well over $5,000 a month because she doesn't even work full time with Palfish right now, but she's making at least $30 an hour because she's that good and people love her and the students have really good reviews on her. And so with Palfish, there's different types of options to become a teacher. Okay, so as I'm looking at the Palfish website right now, everything you need to know to get a job at Palfish, the overview. So as I mentioned, there's three different types of ways you can be a Palfish teacher where you set your own rates. There's no time commitments, no minimum hours. You teach from your phone or tablet, talk, uh, teach free talk, sorry, create your own content. Um, and the other ones, Palfish official course instructor. 
So they would, Palfish would be providing you a um, pre-designed curriculum so that you would be teaching that. So you can earn up to $22 an hour on that, plus bonuses, must be a native English teacher. And then there's a Palfish Philippines course, so hires English teachers from the Philippines, and that is the earning potential per hour. So you can check out more on this website. But it's pretty cool because you really can teach from your phone. I remember my friend and I, we were out uh, exploring Peru because she lives in Peru. So we were out taking an adventure in the sand dunes and stuff. And I remember her waking up early, really early, like 3.34, because these students are based out of China. And I remember her saying, well, I woke up really early and to get my stuff. I'm like, well, where's your computer? She's like, I don't need my computer. I'm just teaching from my phone. I'm like, oh, that is amazing. You don't even need your computer to do online tutoring and teach. Like, how fantastic is that? I was a little jealous because I had to bring my laptop so that I could, you know, do stuff for my online business. But the point is, it's really, really cool. And so a couple of, you know, tips that she told me so that I can relate to you guys for when you get on Palfish and become a teacher is to understand the culture because you will be teaching mostly kids from China and there's some very different things culturally because she said in China it's highly valued and the parents have expectations and you may see things on the student screens that you don't agree with like they could spank them they could yell at them they could you know be a real bully as a parent but she said it doesn't happen that often but you have to understand it could um, you know, kids are kids and they do weird stuff like showing you their favorite underwear and they take you into the bathroom with them if they need to go to the bathroom. And so you just have to be patient and just tell yourself that, hey, this is only 25 minutes of my life and I'm helping this kid out. But she said most of her kids are angels and they do really well. And so she said the most successful teachers that make more money faster are the ones that build the strongest relationships with the students which means they get more reviews and they just pay extra attention to the kid their interests who they are and stuff like that so that really does help and go a long way with being a palfish teacher and she said as a bonus she would definitely give her students real constructive feedback and criticism on where they can improve because this helps build the trust between them and also helps them improve their English skills. So that hopefully gives a clear summary of the Palfish website so you can check that out if online teaching interests you. Okay everyone, it's been amazing. I'm so glad you've made it to this part of the video and if you've made it this far, let's go. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on learning, growing together. Why don't we check out the video that's coming up next where I talk about 17 different websites where you're able to make up to $300 a day. And that video starts right now. Click right here. Whether you're living la vida loca, traveling all around the world, playing in the water, playing in the waves, or whether you're stuck at home in quarantine, wanting to make an extra side